Right, let's go now to Limpopo to hear what the locals there think of Tito Mboweni, uh, what he has in store for them. Our reporter Beatrice Mahwale is on the ground. A very good morning to you, Beatrice. What is the mood like in Limpopo? What are the expectations in terms of the budget speech? Well, good morning to you as well as the viewers at home. I'm here at one of the busiest uh, taxi rank here in Limpopo just to hear from ordinary South African citizens what are the expectations upon uh, the Minister of Finance budget speech which is set uh, this afternoon. And I must say that it seems like ESCOM remains a top priority. You know, the expectations from him as to will he be able to steer ESCOM out of the crisis, you know, it's facing at the moment. But there are more problems and challenges that are on the ground that they want the Minister to certainly focus on and right now I'm going to speak to Georgina just to tell us what are her expectations from the Minister of Finance. Uh, thank you so much Georgina for speaking to us. We know that this afternoon the Minister of Finance is set to deliver his annual uh, budget uh, speech. What are your expectations from him? Minister <laughs> Bilebaga, <laughs> Thank you so much. And that was Georgina. She was just saying in a nutshell that she would love for the Minister of Finance to focus mainly on education because if you go to certain schools around the province, they are in dire conditions. And also for a higher education learning, there are many students who are still waiting for funding from NSFIRS. She would love certainly for the Minister to just focus on that in terms of education. And I'm going to speak to France right now just to give me uh, his expectations from the Minister. Franz, what are your expectations from the Minister of Finance? Uh, Okay, thank you so much, uh, France. That was France, and in a nutshell, he's saying that jobs, jobs, jobs. They're saying they're struggling. There's no jobs. They would like for the minister just to allocate more funds for job creations. They're staying with their parents. They're all depending on social grants, and that is not enough. And that's the views on the grounds here in Limpopo upon uh, the uh, Minister of Finance uh, spe uh, a budget uh, speech this afternoon. And that's all from me. It's back to you in studio. Beatrice, thank you so much for that Limpopo update as you heard the people talking about uh, the need for jobs. Blaine?